you guys, it's Peter, and welcome to my channel, Peter. <laughs> I don't know why it sounds so silly to me. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> boom, 3D. Boom, boom. I'm a boxer. <laughs> review stuff. I'm a boxer and I review stuff, okay? I'm a heavyweight boxer of YouTube. Anyway, and I review stuff, and today I am back for, I don't box, I'm not a boxer, I'm a lover, peace. Anyway, and today I am back for, guess what? <laughs> Another Starbucks review. <gasps> Oh my God, I bet you never would have guessed, would you? So anyway, I am back for another Starbucks review. Now I have to tell you, it is currently 5.14 p.m. on Friday evening. I hope that you are already enjoying your weekend. I am enjoying mine. Um, and my husband left this morning to go to Miami, Florida with his girlfriend for, not like that, okay? Like, his girl, his friend that is a girl, you know what I mean? Anyway, I know, but if I don't clarify, then people will be talking, and then you know how it is. So anyway, but um, it's her birthday this weekend, so they went to, they flew to Miami, Florida this morning, and he's been sending me pictures and videos from the beach and all that kind of stuff. And so anyway, I'm hoping that they're having a really good time, and I was going to go with them. But I was like, you know what? I think I'd just like to have a weekend just with the dogs, lay low, listen to audiobooks, watch some Netflix. You know how it is, right? Now, I have to tell you, I already got my Starbucks for the day, so... Now, I'm not a big creamer in my coffee kind of person. Uh, back when we were on lockdown, I did buy the Starbucks. I bought the uh, Dolce de Leche and I bought the Cinnamon Dolce Creamer. And every day in my little cup, <clears throat> if you watch my vlog, you might remember this. Um, I would like make an iced coffee with my Keurig and I would put cream and stuff like that. I don't, it just made me feel fancy and bougie, you know? And it, I needed to feel fancy and bougie at that time because I didn't feel very fancy fancy and bougie sitting in my driveway making videos, okay? But anyway, so that was like a time that I did. Every once in a while, I'll be like, oh, I feel like creamer in my coffee. But I have to tell you, I am so sold on the the brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso. Like, I love it. So they, they for a while, they didn't, when you would drive through, I didn't see it on the menu. And now, like the last couple days, they did something, they changed their menu. So I've seen it on there and I've been getting it and I really like it. So anyway. I got that today, and I have to tell you what is so funny, <laughs> ironic, sure, um, is, isn't that ironic? Do you remember that song back in the day? I didn't like that song. Anyway, I was looking through, because Holly over the totallybomb.com, she hasn't posted another drink today or yesterday, because she's probably like, I don't know what drinks to make, because they don't have any ingredients at Starbucks, see? So, uh, not their fault, not their fault, they just can't get them. So, I was looking through, uh, the web, the web, the, the www, the World Wide Web, you know, like you do, and I was Googling 2021 best secret menu drinks. The problem is, I literally reviewed like all of them, okay? There's actually a drink called the TikTok. So, I may review that tomorrow. It's like real easy to make, but it's just called the TikTok. I don't know why, but anyway, the TikTok has its own uh, drink, apparently. There's not a YouTube. <laughs> there should be. There should be a drink called the YouTube, but there's not. So anyway, when I was going through here, I found this um, on Parade.com, and they listed, like, all of the skinny drinks you can get, all the low-carb drinks you can get, and everything. They have that on there. But they also have... Oh, no, no, maybe that was the other article I was reading. Um, let me see. Let me go up here and see. Do, do, do. No, that is, what drinks can I get skinny at Starbucks? Um, what's the lowest-carb drink at Starbucks? And they have all these different drinks on here. Some of them I've never heard of before. What's the Brewed Oprah Chai Tea Bag? I've never heard of that before. I'm going to actually ask them if they have that when I go through here. And I've never heard of an iced cinnamon refresher either so I might have to try those if they have them but anyway um down here I saw that they have a drink called the french toast shake and espresso now I went and I looked on my channel and I can't find it on there so if I've already done this this is a remix but I don't think that I have and here's a picture of it right there Looks like it was taken from the Instagram. Oh, yeah, it was taken from the Instagram from an account called Sweet with a Tweak, okay? So, uh, they have 38.9 thousand followers. If I remember, I will link them below. Here's what it says. French toast, shake, and espresso. White mocha and brown sugar, question mark? Together, question mark? Probably the best pairing to ever exist, or to exist at Starbucks. I'm editing as I go. Ever. Oh, see, the ever should have gone before. Okay. Am I being dramatic? Well, kind of you are. But absolute, but we'll let it pass because I need the drink to review. <laughs> That's the truth right there, lasso of truth. 
Am I being dramatic? Absolutely not. Okay. Some say it tastes like the toasted white mocha, while others say it tastes like a cinnamon roll. Me, I can't help but think of delicious French toast on a cozy Sunday morning. Oh my God, that sounds so good. This one time, Alex and I, we went, this was not too many years ago, because it was when I was on the YouTubes. We went to Connecticut because Alex had a work conference. We were in this like small town, and we stayed at this bed and breakfast, and every day he had to get up and go to work, and they had like bagels and cream cheese. And the first day, I was so jealous because I like texted him. I was like, oh, do they have breakfast for you guys? And he's like, yeah, bagels and cream cheese and all this kind of stuff and orange juice and, you know, coffee and whatever. And I was like, oh, I love bagels and cream cheese. And uh, back in the day when I used to have to go to work conferences and stuff like that, they'd always have donuts. You know, everybody always eats the donuts, but I like the bagels and cream cheese. And you know the little cream cheeses that come in the little thing, the little containers like that? Oh my God, I love those so much. I'm always like, can I have two? But why do they always put them on like a thing of ice and then the ice melts and then it's just a bunch of uh, floating uh, cream cheese? <laughs> it's kind of corny and cheesy, isn't it? Anyway, cheesy. But... So he was, I was kind of jealous, and then I was like, he goes, well, they have breakfast at the, like, the main house, because it was, like, this main house, and then they had, like, I think it was two other houses that they had in the back, so you could, like, stay in the main house, or you could stay in the other houses, and the two other houses had, like, five bedrooms, and in each, it was real cute, right? So anyway, and they had, like, a little winding river and a park. If you watch my vlog, I, I vlogged the whole thing. So anyway... And they had no Wi-Fi there, so I had to drive up and down through town, up and down through town, and, um, and then I had to upload my videos on my phone. So I would just like drive up and down while my phone, my videos were uploading on my phone because I had better Wi-Fi, you know, through my cellular. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Anyway, so I went over to the main house for breakfast. They had this cute little like restaurant. It was like you open these white French doors and you're like in the restaurant. And they have like six tables inside and six tables outside in the veranda. It was so cute, right? And they only have like two things for breakfast. And one was like a sausage omelet and I'm a vegetarian. I don't know if I was then, I think I was. But anyway, you know what the other thing was? Oh, lemon ricotta pancakes. They were so good. I still talk, lemon verbena ricotta pancakes. I still talk about them to this day to my friends. I'm like, best pancakes, fluffy, they were so good. And they came with a lemon on top of them, custard, oh my God, would you die? And then they also had syrup, and I love hot syrup and pancakes and my French toast and my waffles and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, I do love French toast. My mom used to make it for me when I was growing up, so did my dad. So anyway, nutritional information, calories, 85, fat, two grams, Total carbs, 13. Sugars, 12 grams. Protein, 1 gram. Ask for a grande brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso. <laughs> Basically what I have right here. Okay, oh, I can review that. Uh, ask for one pump of brown sugar and one pump of white mocha. And ask for extra ice and light oat milk. I don't know why extra ice and a grande. Because it's basically like you're getting three sips. But we're going to do what we're told. I may have found a new source for drinks if I go over there. And uh, Sweet with a Tooth or whatever her name is. If she has... Um, oh, God, those pancakes were so good. Maybe I'll go somewhere tomorrow and have pancakes. Oh, my God. Do you know what? My friend Melissa and her husband Jason, they love the restaurant, the real International House of Pancakes, you know what I'm talking about? Not IHOP. The International House of Pancakes, I think is what it's called. Anyway, so I had never been there. And I had never had, okay, so a couple years ago I made this bucket list. Did you ever do that in your life, make a bucket list? Well, I did. My bucket list had real kind of funny stuff on it. Like really things I wanted to try in my life that I had never tried before. Like, I've had a lot of it now, like Thai food and Indian food and all that kind of stuff. Um, but two of the things I had never had on there was I had never had blueberry pancakes and I had never had chocolate chip pancakes. And I was telling Melissa this one night. She said, we are going to the International House of Pancakes and we're going to try all the pancakes. Oh, my God. And did we ever. We went. We had so much fun. I had blueberry pancakes. I had chocolate chip pancakes. We had apple pancakes. We had all. We had something that was kind of like not really a pancake. It was like a cinnamon roll, but a pancake. Do you know what I'm talking about? <gasps> it was so good. Good. Anyway, it's raining again in Indianapolis. I am so over this rain. Why couldn't it have been so nice this weekend so I could have hung out at the pool? I did go to the pool. Was that yesterday? Yeah, I did go to the pool for a little bit yesterday. They're going to be like, you're back through here again. I was just here like an hour ago. Come on, dude. Quit ordering your 15 frappuccinos. <laughs> Do you know, I don't think I've ever reviewed the blueberry muffin, and they have it on the menu, it just says blueberry muffin, and the other day I was like, I should just go through here and review the blueberry muffin. <gasps> Do you want me to, though? Do you want me to review the blueberry muffin at Starbucks? Okay. Welcome to Starbucks. What could we get started for you? Hey, Josh, it's Peter. I'm back. 
Oh, hey, Peter. Welcome back. How are you? Oh, this time? oh I'm all right. How are you? I'm good. I'm filming a video. Can you help me, please? Of course. What are we making? Okay. So, I need to ask for a grande brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso. Oh, your favorite. Okay. <laughs> I just got that. I need to ask for one pump of brown sugar and one pump of white mocha. Only one pump of brown sugar and one pump of white mocha. Okay. Yeah. And then I need extra ice and light oat milk. Extra ice and light oat milk. Okay. Is that easy? That's very easy. Okay, that's it. That's it? What's this one called? This is the French Toast Shake and Espresso. <gasps> okay, excellent. All right, I'll see you at the window. Okay, thanks. They are so nice. I was talking to my friend on the phone and I said, uh, when I came through here earlier, and I said, hey, guess what? And she goes, what? Oh, he got, uh, what was that? He got some kind of purpley kind of drink. I bet that's the purple drink he got. Or the pink drink. Do you think he's a fan of James Charles? Do you know James Charles? <laughs> are you a fan of James Charles? <laughs> he don't want to admit to it, but he is. He is. You got the pink drink. I saw it. <laughs> Quit lying, I saw that you got the pink drink. <laughs> the pinkity drink, oh, Lord. What did he get? What was that pink drink that he got? That is a dragon drink. Uh oh, done that I've done that one. I thought that was the James Charles pinkity drink today. No. And he, he didn't. tried to order the kiwi with coconut, but I'm not a kiwi. Oh, you are? I really saved his life though, that kiwi's off. Did you get your hair cut? And I didn't even notice it earlier, because I couldn't see you, because you're back right, there. Right. It looks really nice. How much is it? 461. It was 650. Lord, let me see the back of that hair. You got a haircut. I did. It's all gone. You got it all shaved except for the front. Do you know what we used to call that back in the day? Uh, it's a high and tight. What do you mean? That is not a high and tight. Can I show them? Yeah. It's too long. Here, to be he's a high calling and tight. this a high and tight. Now turn to the back. No. No. You know that what we called that back in the day? Savage called it. Who? Nancy Savage, the lady who cuts my hair. Oh, okay. <laughs> she just got a call. Do you know what we used to call it back in the day? Well, when they would have real short hair and then just the bangs, we call that a Portland fade. Oh, Portland fade? A Portland fade. Do you know what a Larmoose is? No. So a Larmoose is a mullet, okay? But that's okay, the official point. word for it. You know, business in the front, party in the back. Right, 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 right. My dad had one. I had one. How old is your dad? Gonna be 50 this year. Yeah, I was gonna say because I'm 49, and and when I was in high school, I didn't have one because I had style. But everybody had a Larmoose in high school. There's Jacob. Hello. I was hearing all about your wedding the other day. Well, I was talking about you got your hair done too. Now that I like, can you can I show it? Yes, absolutely. Look at this hairdo. That's me. You look very British. I know. Oh, I like your plugs too in your ears. It goes with the bleached hair. I look like I'm off the street. Now, like slim shade. Now, are you uh, gonna have matching outfits for your wedding? Kind of. I'm gonna be in green and he's gonna be in blue. But we'll both oh. have suspenders on our clothes. Oh, I love. So is it gonna be very tasteful, then? Very tasteful. I gotta go make drinks for you. No. <laughs> I just wanna hang out. I don't have any friends. Bye. Bye, Bye Veronica. <laughs> I just want to hang out. There's not anybody in line. Who's he got to make drinks for? <laughs> I cannot go that way. And I got stuck in this traffic today, you guys. True story. Here, I have to show you. There's construction traffic up there. I got stuck in that traffic for like a half an hour. And I'm talking to my friend on the phone. And when you hit this like street up here for like the next mile that I was stuck in traffic, there's like your service goes in and out. It's like you're in a valley on your phone. You know, when people are like, oh, it was like that. Okay. So here's the drink. This is the, the French toast shake and espresso. Okay. I mean, it basically is like the exact same color as the oat milk shake and espresso. Let's try this now. Tastes like soy sauce, kind of. No. It doesn't taste like soy sauce. It doesn't taste like French toast. I will say it tastes kind of like a burnt cinnamon roll. And and not in, and I know that that sounds gross, but like not in a bad way. This is actually, <clears throat> I have to say I actually kind of like this better than the oat milk shake and espresso. Like 
if it were after dinner and I wanted like an iced espresso, like if they served it at a restaurant, which they never do, this kind of has like a toasty taste. French toast, there you go, oh my God. But it does, it has kind of like a toasty taste to it, like an after dinner, you know, like, where somebody would be smoking like a cigar or something, you know, and the candles are lit, and, you know, the, all that kind of stuff. So here you go. If you want the recipe thing, it's right here. It just is a, a grande brown sugar oat milk espresso, one pump of brown sugar syrup, blonde, it says, one pump of white mocha, extra ice with low uh, oat milk. It says with oat milk, but anyway. Oh, that must be the way that they say low, because they just don't know at the beginning. This is a five out of five. This is good. So I will link her Instagram below if I remember. I hope to God I do. And um, go order this if you like the oat milk shake and shake. If you like the oat milk shake and espresso, or whatever it's brown sugar, uh, oat, brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso. You'll like this one. Trust. Trust me. Trust you will. Trust me. Yes, this is really good. I really like this. Five out of five. Delicious. Well, all right, and if you go over there, tell her I sent you. All right, I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.